It's September the 26th, 2022. And look at here, taxpayers. Bin Laden's sister, I mean daughter and son have sent the hardworking men of Tacoma Park down here to clean this sidewalk up. <laughs> the hardworking men of Tacoma Park. This is sad when you have to embarrass the government to come out. And I'm glad to hear you taxpayers making those phone calls and letting us know. This is how you have to get things done in the government. This is Poplar Avenue with all the vines that were down here on the side of the street. We got the hard working men of the Coma Park out here cleaning this up. Gentlemen, gentlemen, the hard working men of Tacoma Park. These are the gentlemen that need a pay raise. Take the money out of the mayor's pocket that she's stealing and give it to these gentlemen right here. Give it to these. I see they saw my video about this street. It's sad that I have to record them to make them get out here and do something. So I guess her pocket gonna be short this month. <laughs> so the hardworking men came out here and they're cleaning up this street. <laughs> this is what you have to do when you have the mayor stealing money from these guys here. This is where the money should be going to. These hardworking men here. You know, they come out here. How many months has been since we've been complaining and showing it? And now all of a sudden, I guess, Taxpayers are finally calling and complaining. She ain't doing nothing but stealing money from you all, taxpayers. Look, look what it takes to get these guys to come out here to do this. Again, that stretch limo still there. I appreciate it, gentlemen. I really do. And it's time for y'all to get a pay raise. It's time for y'all to get a pay raise. No joke. Because y'all the hardest working men in this administration. And I tell that to all my viewers that public work, y'all from public works, right? Yes. Okay, public works, that means the trash guys and everybody needs a pay raise. Because these guys get the job done. It's the brass, your mayor, your city council, ain't shit. Taxpayers. No, this ain't this ain't nothing to do with none of y'all. I see y'all, I speak to y'all, but they know what the problem is. You got a corrupt system up there up of Maple Avenue that these guys they can't do nothing unless it comes from the top. Unless it comes from the top and they do the job when they get it. And this right here, look at this. It's been this for months. Yeah, because I'm the last, uh, the last time I clean it, when exactly. I to up the edge of because I was back there, and I usually hit it two times. Yeah. But you see, when I did it first, it was me alone. Now I get my help. Yeah, you know? no doubt. I remember, I got you, I remember. You, know, you so came here and cleaned this up. Yep. But then, it's, it's up to the administration and the brass to make sure that these streets clean and these sidewalks clean. So taxpayers, this is what it takes. Get out your house, grab your phone, and start recording the things that are not getting done in your town. These guys are out here today, they're cleaning up the sidewalk. And like I told you, I applaud them. They, don't, they need to be running this, this city instead of the people y'all got sitting up in them offices. I appreciate it, gentlemen. Y'all have a good one, man. I see you, bro. I know, but you got to get it from up there at the top first. That's your job, not me. Hey, you, hey, that's what I'm saying. But taxpayers, you got to rally for these guys to get a pay raise. These guys work. They the only one working. The public works, trash people, 
the whole department is the only one that worked. And it's sad that you got to embarrass the government to get them to get up and do something. Gentleman right there, they go, no, look at him. Parking enforcement. Let me see who this is. Let me get up here and see who this is. Let me see who this is right here, y'all. That's code enforcement. Ain't doing their job. Look at him waving. That's code enforcement, y'all. Following me around the neighborhood. That's what he's doing. Following me around. He started back at the police station following me. <laughs> Woo! But it's sad that this is how you got to make your government do their job. Embarrassing them. And this is what I'm saying, taxpayers. You guys got to get out and walk your town. And see what is not getting done in your town. And stop listening to these bootlickers and ass kissers. It's telling you, oh, they doing a good job. They doing, fuck that. They ain't doing no good job. That's code enforcement. Instead of him down here enforcing codes on this piece of shit here, this fraudulent tire company and this dirty food truck. Again, foreigners running the show. down here. Ain't none of these dudes certified mechanics. But they putting brakes on people's car, working on people's car. And sooner or later, shit gonna tear. There was some more tires they stacking up the spray paint. You run a food truck and ain't never got no customers. I'm gonna say the government, look at that. Birds ate the crumbs from the, the food truck and look what happened. Look what happened. Damn, I told you not to eat from that truck. I told you. Stay away from this truck. Look at that. This becoming an eyesore. Becoming an eyesore, y'all. Look at the girl in there. She on the phone. This place is becoming an eyesore. Look at all these cars they packing up in here. They even built them a, a wooden stand. Look at them. The one in the pen, she the one that told the dog to bite me. <laughs> She ain't got her green papers either. That's why she ain't looking over here. But she talk a lot of shit when the camera ain't on. I should call immigration. But I ain't that kind of person, everybody. She the one told the dog, bite him, bite him. 
like I ain't understand Spanish. Tell her the dog bite me as soon as I whoop his ass, I'm gonna whoop her ass for sickening him on me. Look at her. <laughs> she can't even look this way. Big demon. Look at her. That one right there. I think it's funny. That's why I don't take it personal. I think it's funny. That's why I had a individual write a comment. I'm upset. No, I don't take none of this personal. I laugh at it. Because it's comical to me. Stay tuned, y'all.